Welcome to the global defense battle. The BrahMos missile, a joint project between India and Russia, is named after two significant rivers, the Brahmaputra in India and the Moskva in Russia. This symbolizes the collaboration between the two nations in developing this advanced missile system. BrahMos is specifically designed for anti-ship and land attack missions, focusing on fast and accurate strikes with its supersonic speed. Inducted into the Indian Armed Forces in 2006, BrahMos has become a key asset in targeting enemy ships and land-based infrastructure. Its versatility, allowing it to be launched from land, sea, air, and submarines, makes it a formidable weapon across various platforms. In contrast, the Kaliber missile, developed solely by Russia, gets its name from the Russian word Kaliber, meaning caliber or gauge, reflecting its precision in hitting targets. Designed for anti-ship and land attack roles, Kaliber stands out with its long-range precision strikes. Introduced in 2012, Kaliber gained attention during Russia's military operations in Syria, where it demonstrated its effectiveness in delivering accurate strikes deep into enemy territory, solidifying its place in Russia's naval strategy. These missiles are often compared because of their similar roles and capabilities in naval warfare. While BrahMos focuses more on speed, Caliber offers flexibility in long-range strikes. This comparison will highlight their strengths and differences to help understand how each missile fits into modern military strategy. So let's start. When talking about the design of both the missiles, the BrahMos missile has a sleek aerodynamic design that contributes to its supersonic speed. It features four tail fins that provide stability during flight and help it maintain its course with precision. The missile is made of lightweight materials to enhance its speed and agility. In terms of dimensions, BrahMos is around 8.4 meters long, has a diameter of about 0.67 meters, and weighs approximately 3,000 kilograms when fully loaded. The missile's design focuses on speed, which allows it to reach its target faster than most subsonic missiles. In comparison, the Caliber missile has a more compact design, but it also features stabilizing tail fins to maintain accuracy during flight. It is about 6.2 to 8.9 meters long, depending on its variant, with a diameter of 5.3 meters. The weight of the Caliber missile ranges from 1,300 to 2,300 kilograms, depending on its configuration and warhead. The design of Caliber focuses on versatility and stealth, with the missile capable of flying at lower altitudes to evade radar detection. The design of each reflects their specific roles in modern military operations. When talking about the propulsion system and performance of both the missile, the BrahMos missile uses a two-stage propulsion system. In the first stage, a solid-fuel rocket booster propels the missile to supersonic speeds after launch. Once the booster separates, the second stage, a liquid-fueled ramjet engine, takes over. This ramjet engine is what keeps the missile traveling at supersonic speeds throughout its flight. The BrahMos missile can achieve speeds of Mach 2.8 to Mach 3, which is about three times the speed of sound, making it one of the fastest cruise missiles in the world. Its range was initially limited to around 290 kilometers, but recent upgrades have extended this to about 450 to 500 kilometers. The missile generally flies at a low altitude, around 10 to 15 meters above the water, to avoid radar detection, though it can also reach higher altitudes during its flight. On the other hand, the Kaliber missile also has a two-stage propulsion system, but it uses a turbofan engine in its cruise stage. The Caliber can achieve speeds of about Mach 0.8 to Mach 3, depending on the variant. This makes it both a subsonic and supersonic missile, depending on how it is deployed. The missile is fueled by liquid propellants, which allow it to cover long distances. The Caliber has a much longer range compared to BrahMos, with some versions reaching up to 1,500 to 2,500 kilometers. It can fly at very low altitudes, sometimes just 10 meters above the ground or water, to evade detection, but can also travel at medium altitudes depending on the mission profile. Both missiles have unique propulsion systems that reflect their roles. Coming to the payload capacity and warhead types of both the missiles, the BrahMos missile is capable of carrying a wide range of payloads, including both conventional and nuclear warheads. Its payload capacity is around 200 to 300 kilograms, depending on the version. For conventional warheads, BrahMos can carry high explosive fragmentation, penetration blast, or submunition types, which are designed to destroy different types of targets like ships, bunkers, or land-based structures. Although it can carry a nuclear warhead, its use is primarily focused on conventional attacks. If armed with a nuclear warhead, the yield would typically be around 10 to 50 kilotons, though exact figures are classified. BrahMos is not designed to carry multiple warheads, meaning it carries a single warhead per missile. The destruction radius depends on the warhead type, 
For conventional warheads, the radius could be several hundred meters, while for nuclear warheads, the destruction radius could be several kilometers, depending on the yield. The Kaliber missile also has versatile payload capabilities. It can carry both conventional and nuclear warheads. The payload capacity for Kaliber ranges from 400 to 500 kilograms, making it suitable for larger payloads than BrahMos. The conventional warheads include high explosive fragmentation, penetrating warheads, or submunitions designed for similar purposes such as destroying ships, bunkers, and land targets. For nuclear versions, the Caliber can carry a warhead with a yield of up to 100 kilotons. Like BrahMos, it does not have a multiple independently targetable re-entry vehicle system, so it carries only one warhead per missile. The destruction radius for conventional warheads could range from a few hundred meters, while for nuclear warheads, depending on the yield, it could extend to several kilometers. BrahMos carries slightly smaller payloads while Kaliber can carry larger payloads, but both missiles are capable of delivering significant destruction, especially with nuclear warheads. Coming to the guidance and accuracy of both the missiles, the BrahMos missile is known for its high level of accuracy, with a circular error probable of around 1 to 5 meters. CEP measures how far the missile is likely to hit from its intended target, with smaller numbers indicating higher accuracy. BrahMos uses a combination of inertial navigation system and GPS for guidance. The inertial navigation system helps the missile track its position during flight based on motion sensors, while the GPS system provides real-time location updates for improved precision. In its terminal phase means final approach. BrahMos uses an active radar seeker to lock onto its target, ensuring a highly accurate strike. It can be maneuvered during flight using its advanced flight control system. This allows the missile to change direction mid-flight, making it more difficult to intercept by enemy defenses. The missile can perform sharp turns and follow a zigzag pattern during the terminal phase, a capability called S-curve maneuvering, which helps it evade anti-missile systems and ensure a direct hit on its target. The Caliber missile also boasts high accuracy, with a CEP of around 3 to 10 meters, depending on the version and target. It uses a combination of inertial navigation, satellite-based navigation, and a terrain contour matching system. The inertial navigation system guides the missile during its cruise phase, while satellite navigation systems provide real-time location data. TURCOM allows the missile to compare its flight path with preloaded terrain maps, helping it stay on course and avoid obstacles like mountains or buildings. Caliber missiles can also be maneuvered during flight, especially in their terminal phase, making it harder for enemy defenses to intercept. The capability, combined with their low-altitude cruise and speed variation, makes Caliber highly effective for long-range precision strikes. Both missiles have advanced guidance systems that allow them to hit their targets with high precision, but BrahMos is slightly more accurate due to its sophisticated radar seeker in the terminal phase. Regarding launch platforms, the BrahMos missile can be launched from a variety of platforms, making it highly versatile. It can be deployed from land, sea, air, and submarine platforms. On land, BrahMos is typically launched from mobile launch vehicles mounted on trucks, allowing it to be moved quickly to different locations. It can also be launched from naval ships using vertical or inclined launch systems. Additionally, the missile can be air-launched from aircraft like the Sukhoi Su-30 MK-1 fighter jet. The submarine-launched version is designed to be fired from under the water. In terms of response time, it can be made ready to launch within a few minutes, making it ideal for quick reaction strikes. The Kaliber missile is typically launched from naval ships and submarines, although there are reports of a land-based version being developed by Russia. On ships, Kaliber is usually launched from vertical launch systems, allowing for rapid and simultaneous missile launches. Submarine-launched Kaliber missiles can be fired while the submarine is submerged, providing a stealthy deployment option. Unlike BrahMos, Caliber's primary focus is on naval platforms, though some versions could be adapted for mobile ground launchers in the future. Its response time is also relatively short, and the missile can be launched from ships or submarines within minutes of receiving a command. The submarine-launched versions of Caliber provide a strategic advantage since they can be deployed from stealthy underwater platforms that are hard to detect. Both missiles are designed to be ready for quick strikes, with short response times and high mobility in their respective platforms. The BrahMos missile's development cost is estimated to be around $300 million, shared between India and Russia as part of their joint venture. This cost covered the research, design, and testing of the missile over several years. The high-speed versatility and advanced guidance systems contributed to the overall development expenses.
While the production cost per BrahMos missile is estimated to be around $2.7 to $3 million, depending on the specific variant and features like the launch platform. In comparison, the caliber missile's development costs are less publicly detailed, but estimates suggest a cost of around $500 million. Russia's extensive testing and deployment of the missile, particularly during military operations, also added to its development costs. The production cost per caliber missile is estimated to be around $1 million to $1.5 million, which is generally lower than BrahMos. Both missiles require significant maintenance to remain operational, reflecting their sophisticated designs. The BrahMos missile is currently in active service with the Indian Armed Forces. India has produced and deployed around 500 BrahMos missiles across various platforms. This number continues to grow as more missiles are being manufactured to meet India's defense needs. In terms of exports, India has been actively promoting BrahMos to several countries. The Philippines recently signed a deal to purchase BrahMos for their coastal defense systems. Other countries, such as Vietnam and Indonesia, have shown interest in acquiring BrahMos. But no official deals have been confirmed yet. The caliber missile is primarily in active service with the Russian Navy. Russia has deployed hundreds of caliber missiles on its warships and submarines, with estimates suggesting that over 1,000 caliber missiles have been produced and are in active service or reserve. Caliber has seen extensive use during Russia's military operations in Syria, showcasing its operational effectiveness in real combat situations. As for exports, Russia has exported caliber missiles to some of its close allies. Countries like Algeria and China are reported to have purchased or shown interest in the Kaliber system. However, the exact number of exports remains classified. In summary, both the BrahMos and Kaliber missiles are powerful, advanced weapons designed for different roles, but share similar capabilities in terms of precision and versatility. Both are the key components in modern military strategies, showcasing how speed, range, and stealth can shape future warfare. Which missile do you think has the edge in modern combat scenarios? Let us know in the comments below. That's it for today's comparison. Make sure to like, share, and subscribe for more defense updates and comparisons. See you in the next video.